In this video series, we will look at how to install and configure eNow 7.0 software, which includes Mailscape, Compass, Uniscope, and Foresight, in three easy steps. This video is the first in a three-part series. In this first video, we will show step one, or how to install eNow 7.0 software on a web server. Now, before we do that, let's take a high-level overview of this diagram, which shows us the basic architecture. Notice that the eNow management system, which includes Mailscape, Compass, Uniscope, and Foresight, installs on a web server in your company's internal network. On each server to be monitored, a small lightweight client installs quickly and easily with no reboots necessary. Now, during the day, the web server communicates with the servers it is monitoring and sends data to a backend instance of SQL. The only port that needs to be open for Mailscape to do its job is 20080. Some of the roles and features that we'll be installing or verifying are installed on our virtual machine are IIS, IIS 6 management compatibility, ASP.NET, Net Framework 4.0 or above, and Windows authentication. So, without any further delay, let's look at how to install eNow 7.0 software on a web server. Here we have a Windows Server 2008 R2 virtual machine. And here on the screensaver, this IT 24-7 person, that, well, that's me or you, because we're working all the time, we're juggling a million things at once, therefore we really need eNow and Admin Life Simplified. So let's take a look at the role services that need to be installed. So you can see that I've previously uh, set this server up as a web server. If you right click on web server IIS and look at add role services, we can go down here and see that under security, uh, Windows authentication is installed and also the management tools, the uh, IIS management compatibility. So that's good. We're going ahead and cancel out of this. Now in preparation for today's install, I already installed SQL Express. Now here in the temp folder, we can see the eNow management system 7.0 times 64. We can see that I've already unzipped it and that there are several MSI and exec files in here. Now we're really only going to be concerned with one of these today, but I'll just go ahead and, and run through them real quickly with you so you know what they are. Now the eNow Azure Web Service Setup MSI, well this is used by our installer for uh, monitoring of Exchange Online. The eNow Client Setup, that's installed on servers that we'd like to monitor and we're going to demonstrate how to do that in a subsequent video. The eNow Client Upgrade is used for upgrading current installations of the eNow management system, for example, Mailscape, Compass, Uniscope. Now, the eNow Exchange Online setup is used for customers that will be monitoring Exchange Online. Uh, eNow Link Service setup is used for customers that are monitoring Link. The namespace monitor setup is used in environments where we're monitoring Exchange 2013, and we're going to go over that as well in a subsequent video. That brings us down to some additional instructions here at the bottom for the namespace configuration, an XML file that we will be using later, but the file that we're going to concern ourselves with today, and really the only one that you need to be concerned about, is the eNow web server setup 64. Because see what happens is during the install, as we'll see in a minute, the eNow web server setup 64 is going to ask us a few questions. And based on our answers to those questions, it will install the appropriate MSI files. So we're just going to go ahead here on the eNow web server setup 64, right click and run as administrator. And there we are. It comes up and says that we meet all the prerequisites. And here's the various prerequisites. We've talked about those, so let's click Next. Okay, in this case, we're going to install Mailscape and Compass, so we'll click Next. And then the software will look to see if there is a previous installation of Mailscape or Compass. If not, we'll install on a new website. 
and we'll click yes. Now while this is installing, I would like to take a minute and say that there are many new awesome features in the 7.0 version of our software, Mailscape, Compass, Uniscope, Foresight, across the board. But one of the things where our team has really done an outstanding job is in making the installer package faster and easier than ever. So let's continue to go through this and you'll see what I'm talking about. Let's click next and next again. Now while the software is installing, I would like to just take a minute to mention system resources. For my small lab environment, I've chosen to use four gigabytes of RAM and a four core CPU. Now because I'm installing both an IIS server and SQL Express on this VM, I wanted to make sure that I gave it enough memory and processing power. I'll go ahead and click close here. And it's going to self-launch the eNow namespace monitor setup wizard. We will accept the license terms and click next. And here is the account we're going to use for the eNow namespace monitor. So we'll go ahead and put a password in here. And click next. And install. and finish. Next, we'll open up the eNow Administration Console here on the web server. This window pops up to register for a trial of our product. This grants the business a 21-day trial license. In this demo, we will simply insert the temporary license we have, simulating a typical purchase experience. Go ahead and get the license. We'll click save. And we're good. Next, we'll click over to the One Look dashboard. And we can see that our domain controllers are starting to check in. In the next video, we'll allow Mailscape to create the SQL database. We'll also take a look at how to set thresholds and exclusions, and in the third video, we'll finish off the installation with one small step that assists Mailscape with the display of the Exchange 2013 servers. This step is not needed for Exchange 2010, so if you have an Exchange 2010 environment, then you can just uh, finish off with videos one and two. Well, that's it for today. Have a great day, and thank you for stopping by eNow, where it's all about Admin Life Simplified.